Welcome to Bear, brought to you by Giddy, the world's largest sexual health platform. I think also to talk about as well, like reproductive health is sexual health. And I just want to know, like, how has that conversation changed for you? Like, have you had to be more courageous and face these like awkward sort of difficult conversations with people? Um, Yeah, definitely. And I I think part of it is Olivia and I are in the trenches every day, day in, day out, and we're asking people to be vulnerable with us and to share their stories. And so I think it's only fitting that we're very open. And it is at first terrifying and then very freeing and liberating um, because this is, we represent half of the human beings on this planet. And so what we go through is not something that should be shut down or shouldn't be talked about or should be taboo. And unfortunately, the way that a lot of the way that I grew up and a lot of the systems are set up is you were told that you were going to have the curse of your period and basically you're going to try and hide it in whatever capacity possible and it's going to haunt you until you go into menopause. Like that's the way that it's set up, which is kind of ridiculous. And I think there's a massive need for a restructuring of that so that people go, listen, you have the ability to to create life and this is a wonderful thing and and here's what it is and here are the tools to be able to understand it. And so I think opening that up from that very conversation is important the same way that it is that we kind of talk about sexual health. I think it's all super repressed and and we're certainly seeing movement in the right direction. But, But yeah, it's that and I think also, you know, I'm mid 30s now and I think you do hit at this point you know, I I hit a point where I was just like, what, this is ridiculous that I'm not, I don't feel confident talking about this, but I think I'm much more secure in the person that I am now. Um, But I'm still understanding and opening up about kind of, I think, sexually who I am as a being. I think that's certainly something that I'm still kind of working on. Because again, in the same way that I didn't talk about my period, I didn't really talk about what my wants were sexually. And so I think it's all very connected. Anything to add? Period sex. Don't be scared of it, guys. It's great, and it helps with your cramps a lot. (laughs) Perfect segue into (laughs) how do you feel people are being more open about their sexual health? Like, I think that's a great example of of that taboo. Like, you were just saying, like, hide your period. Don't let anyone near when you're on it. And you're like, no, have sex on your period. (laughs) Like, (laughs) it's great. Um, in terms of products for Hummingway, um, how are they addressing menstrual discomfort? Um, and what did you notice was, was missing from the market when y'all started out? Definitely non-toxic solutions for our pain. Again, there's such a lack of research around the female assigned body. Midol, this is a new fact I just learned, was originally a hiccup drug, like for hiccups. And then they added a few more chemicals and then rebranded it as a product for period pain. And so there just really hasn't been any people really trying to target this, something that we go through on a constant basis and we all suffer from it and period pain's not normal. So that's why we created our product, which is the Cycle Soother. And it's a set of patches that are transdermal that last for 24 hours. And they essentially, like, you feel all the ingredients go directly into your bloodstream. So you feel the relief within 30 minutes, similar to a Midol, but it's non-toxic. There's only six ingredients, and that's all you're getting. And it's helping a lot of people out there, which has been super incredible, and that was kind of our mission. Um, And it's just our first product of many. I just felt like pain was the first thing we wanted to tackle. Mood is our next one. So stay tuned. (laughs) Yeah, I definitely, we're kind of working on, me and Olivia started with menstrual discomfort and pain because it's the stage of life that we're in now. Um, We thought it would be very bizarre for us to jump off with menopause or something, but we get asked about it often. And so what we're doing now is, is tackling kind of ways to mitigate your symptoms, rebalance your body throughout every phase of your menstrual cycle. So you go through follicular phase, ovulation, your luteal phase, and your actual period or bleed. And if you focus on balancing yourself throughout the phases before your bleed, you're much more likely to have lesser symptoms. And so we want to create something that is is much more like a lifestyle for people in the same way that you care for your skin, in the same way that you take your supplements, you really should pay attention to your menstrual health because it is now listed as the fifth vital sign. So it's something that is extremely important. Um, But we do have plans to expand into kind of every 
every facet of a, a woman's reproductive life. So we'll go into fertility, we'll go into menopause. Um, and then also we have an educational platform to go alongside it that is extremely important to us because we we're looking at just creating a product. And at the end of the day, if we wanted to look at the root cause of our issues, the root cause is the lack of education. Because how are we supposed to fix anything if we don't know what's going on? So those are kind of the, the two prongs of our company. And with building this company, have you had any sort of negative and positive reception? I mean, like going into this market that's been around for so long, learning that my doll was for hiccups, which is <laughs> hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, like facing the stigma of like, do we do we need this? And you know, we're talking about how you know, if we think in a two gendered society, women make up half the population. We know there's more than two genders, but I'm gonna let it go for right now. Um, but thinking about that, of like, how how has it been talking to retailers and investors of like, this is needed and not just because of and, and, and specifically because of of the market itself. Yeah, I think because period pain and also ovulation pain, it's a real thing because it happens to so many of us when we launched a product that one actually works, people are definitely skeptical. There's like no way you can make this pain that I experience so often go away, but it does help a lot of people. And I think, you know, CBD is the main ingredient in our product. And obviously there's CBD all over the place right now. And it's definitely a you know, a big item, a buzzword, yeah. But CBD actually, there's more science behind it of how it actually helps inhibit the excess production of prostaglandins. And prostaglandins are a hormone-like compound that causes, when there's an excess of them, that's what's causing those contractions. When there's an excess of them, that's the root cause of our pain. So our patch, once again, is trying to focus on the root cause of why we're experiencing these pains. And so I think there is science behind it, but it is a new product, it is very innovative. It's not just a drug that you can take, which we're all so used to taking. So we just you know, have to have a lot of education behind it as well to, because if people are gonna make those lifestyle choices into more functional holistic medicine, they need the education behind it as well. And so, you know, it's a slow process, but I think that people try it and they feel a lot better in their bodies and yeah. I think one of the best things too, of like doing research before this talk of like, the accessibility of your product too, of like you can wear it, so if you can't swallow pills, you don't have to do that. It's, you know, you're looking at sustainable ingredients, there are only X amount of ingredients in it. How did that help in the process of planning? Like, was that something y'all always had in mind of making sure that, you know, people were able to know what's in it and able to, one, actually afford it? I think that's also a big conversation too, like the affordability of it. Um, but yeah, just talking about the access of the product itself. Yeah, we definitely, so we went through 24 different iterations of this product formula. So it was very important to us that the efficacy was there um, and really important to us that we only put in there what really needed to be in there. Because I think so many times we've seen companies kind of come up, jump on a bandwagon or jump on like a buzzword ingredient and say, this is great. It will fix your pain or it will fix your mood swings. And it doesn't work because they don't put the proper amount of ingredient in there to actually work. And we were dead against being another one of those companies. Like the, the whole reason that we're here is to actually help people. And so um, that, that part of it was extremely important to us. 